One of my most asked questions on my channel has to do with how do you get started being a diesel mechanic? So I wanted to delve into this subject matter in this video. So many of the views I get are coming from younger guys that are either in school or thinking of going to school or guys that are in an industry and they want to switch over to possibly being a diesel mechanic and they might have seen my, you know, how to be a diesel mechanic or what it's like being a diesel mechanic, day in the life of a diesel mechanic, whatever. And they might find it's hard to get into the industry at least because for several reasons. Um, I've kind of taken note whenever we hire someone at work and I've been in the field for 11 years now and I've worked in power generation and in the truck shop and I kind of want to talk about how I got started in the field for a quick snippet but I want to basically give advice for what I think are some good strategies for getting started. So I had taken some automotive courses before I got started in the uh, the cat field, caterpillar field, and I was never really interested in diesel. And a friend of mine's father worked for Caterpillar, and I was fairly young. Um, I think I was I was nineteen or twenty at the time. And he said, "Hey, would you like to work for Caterpillar?" And I said, "Well, you know, I'm going to school to be an automotive mechanic." And he said, "Well, you can make more money in the diesel field." So he started me off, but he didn't start me as a mechanic. I was actually like a lot attendant guy um, in power generation. So what I was doing was I was driving around a little delivery truck, delivering small generators, diesel generators, light towers, running cable, um, cable ramps, just basic stuff. I kind of got into small maintenance, fixing things on the smaller generators, fixing light bulbs, stuff like that. And I continued in that field. And, you know, if you're young and you don't really want to spend a lot of time at school, this isn't a bad path to take, especially if, like, you're living at home still, is if you want to get in the diesel field and you don't want to go to UTI or whatever, um, a quick way to do it is try to get in even if they're not hiring apprentices or low-level mechanics, get in that company, whether it's John Deere, or Cummins, or Case, or Caterpillar. Try to get in anywhere. It could be Wash Bay. It could be like a lot attendant position. Um, you know, there's lots of peripheral positions in a equipment company that if you start and they say, and they see that, you know, you're a go-getter. You're always on time, you're intelligent, um, you have some mechanical aptitude. You know, after a little while, they'll probably put you in an apprenticeship or try to move you into a more technical field, and you can work your way out of that low-level position. You know, no one wants to work the wash rack probably for 40 years. So that's what happened to me. After about a year and a half, I moved into uh, power generation as a generator mechanic. So... What are some other tips? So let's say you're trying to, you know, you don't want to start a low-level position. You want to start as a mechanic. Um, so I would say when guys are getting hired, more than what you know is kind of um, who you know. And a lot of that, you know, it's kind of political, but most of the guys that seem to get hired already know someone in the company or they know a hiring manager so a good way to get in is if, you know, if you haven't taken any, try to take some local diesel courses. This is a good idea um, if you don't want to go to UTI or someone that offers, like, career starting assistance, is if you take a, lo a local community college course, you'll probably meet other guys that are in that field. Not only the instructors, the instructors may know people in the company you're trying to get in, and if the instructor likes you they can help you get in that company also the other guys in the course they may already work or work with someone that is in the company you're looking to get at and that can help you get in that company um, that's a good way of going about it as well now like I said UTI Wyotech places like that you're gonna shell out a ton of money 
um, to get in that field. But you're going to get a decent education, even though it costs you a lot. And they'll usually try to help you get started. Um, another thing is, you know, people ask me, well, how do I know if a place has an apprenticeship? I check their website or something. This is your best tool. Get your phone. Um, call the HR of whatever company you're looking to get at. Um, try to talk to the service supervisor. Try to talk to, like I said, HR. Um, you know, you want to know as much about that company as possible. And the best way is not emails or anything. The best way is to talk person to person on the phone um, or even in person. Um, you know, if you're, say you want to work at, you know, a Peterbilt dealership perhaps, and there's no openings on their website or you call but you can't get through, you know, if you just show up in person and you know, maybe you won't be able to talk to the supervisor, but maybe you can talk to a parts guy or something. You know, that way at least you'll get a feel for the place and you'll also be able to, you know, find out. Because usually, you know, they might not be a posting on the website, but there might still be a job opening um, that only the actual employees know of. Um, so that those are kind of my tips for trying to get started in the field. And, you know, it... It is a career change, especially if you're older and getting into the field, it's going to be more difficult than, you know, if you're younger, obviously, because if you're older, you probably have more responsibilities. You might be married with kids. If you're married, you know, you might you might want to go the school route because it might fast track you a little bit. And I don't mean going to UTI. I mean, like, try taking the community college courses and then maybe trying to get on as an apprentice or something opposed to you know, doing the low level thing. Because if you're already in a job that you're making, you know, 20 bucks an hour, it would really hurt to go to like a wash bay position where you're going to be making, you know, 10, 12 bucks an hour. That's more suited for the younger guys. Um, but, you know, if it's something you really want to do and you can't do the courses, they don't have anything around where you're at, um, you know, I would suggest, you know, if it's something you really want to do, maybe try getting that low level position. And those are just my thoughts on it. Um, Hope you enjoyed the video. Okay, if you did, like and subscribe. Thank you.